Alright guys, so I'm already at the Istanbul airport and I'll be taking my flight back to Manila in a couple of hours. But before we leave, I just saw an electronic store that sells a couple of video game consoles. So let's try checking it out. But first, roll the intro. Zach Arvenjo G, Fist Bond. Alright, so itong DNR Electronics, there are a couple of branches of it sa Istanbul Airport. 12 stores actually dun pa lang. And similar naman yung offerings in these branches. Three of which nakita ko on my way to my departure gate. This particular branch is located after entering immigration. Siyempre, mapapasukan mo lang ito pag naka-check-in ka na. Surprisingly, there are a lot to see here so let's take a closer look. Well, if you're looking for games, 99 euro siguro yung pinaka-standard na price para sa mga bagong $70 games sa PSN US. Although some goes as low as 29 euros like GTA 5. May iba't ibang backbone controllers din sila for iPhone and Android in the style of PlayStation and Xbox. These are 149 euros. A Meta Quest 2 is 699 euros, while yung Pico 4 na VR is 459 euros. At kung PS5 disk naman yung hanap mo, this is 629 euros na dating 1,099 euros. Taga ka talaga sa taas ng presyo. Meron din namang FC24 version na 699 euro and if you want an Xbox Series X with Jablo 4, that is 559 euros. Going back to PlayStation, a PSVR 2 would cost you 599 euros while 849 euros naman yung Horizon Call of the Mountain bundle. PS5 controllers are also here for 119 euros hollowed while 99 euros sa regular white. Now, if ibang console naman ang hanap mo, meron din silang Steam Deck, ROG Ally, and of course the Nintendo Switch. Yung V2 Nintendo Switch is 399 euros, an OLED Switch is 459 euros, while a Nintendo Switch Lite is 369 euros. May limited edition Spider-Man 2 PS5 bundle rin dito for 869 euros. For Switch games, 79 euros ang Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, while yung cheapest would go for 39 euros. And here are some more games at a different side of the shelf. Unfortunately, matas talaga ang presyuhan ng electronics sa Istanbul Airport. Not just video games, but other electronics like the iPhone as well. Anyway, I left the NR Electronics and decided to look around the airport for a place to stay before boarding. Now, coming from the electronics store, I just saw that there's a youth lounge, a gathering place of youth before on board. So it comes with four hours free internet, game console, foosball, board games, coffee and snacks, and music and entertainment. So let's try looking for that. here the youth lounge now staying here does cost 15 euros which is okay naman for me because you can stay here and relax so let me show you around maraming mga unan and pwedeng actually higaan yung mga seats may free wifi coffee station pero may bayad but i was able to buy a canned cherry juice naman definitely recommended ito lagi yung iniinom ko sa turkey you have board games over here na pwede mong hiramin. These are already included sa entrance fee. And may PS4 and PS5 games rin sila na pwede hiramin. I went with NBA 2K to burn time. May foosball din sila dito. May vending machine sila for snacks and drinks. And dito naman ako nakatambay in the meantime playing PS5 while charging my gadgets. So relax relax lang muna before my flight back to Manila. And those guys are the video game related things I saw sa Istanbul airport. What do you guys think of the video game prices dito sa Turkey? And will you be visiting the youth lounge during a layover here at Istanbul? Let's talk about that in the comments down below. 
And with that, I think we're done. If you found this video helpful, interesting, or entertaining, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel. Then hit on that notification bell for more video game related vlogs just like this. Again, I'm Zach, and this is Gigi Fistball. Thank you.